Hey there, good morning. I got a busy day at Raleigh City Farm. In the morning we're gonna uh, work on the wash station, getting all the plumbing and stuff done as much as we can today. And we got a new bee colony getting installed today and I got a couple interviews for interns this afternoon. So super, super busy day. We'll see how much we can get done today um, and not fall too far behind. When, you know, when you buy two bags of plumbing fittings at Lowe's, you know you have a lot of work to do. Picked up all the stuff that I hopefully need to get that done, and uh, gotta get that operational as soon as we can. We got vegetables we need to harvest pretty soon, so that's uh, that's what's going on today. Pretty excited. It is gonna be a beautiful day. It's super sunny out here. Gonna be warm. It's awesome. So infrastructure projects are always tough. They just eat up so much time, but you really have to take care of them before the season starts, and especially when you're starting a new farm. And you know, just to put things in perspective here, I came on board February 1st and it's now very beginning of April. There's just so much stuff to do. There's a lot of stuff here that needs to be set up to make this farm per, uh, you know, in a real production sense. So yeah, gotta check these things off. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna put a shutoff valve in over there. There, real, there isn't one, which is crazy. Um, so what we're gonna do is this is the backflow preventer. For the farm, this is where the, our city water comes in. So I'm just gonna shut this off and then we're gonna go put in that shutoff valve over at the wash station. So as I showed in the video yesterday, uh, this is our main water coming in. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, put a shutoff valve in here. There isn't one. So I'm just gonna cut this connection. And just using three quarter inch pecs, super easy to work with. Uh, I'm just gonna put a valve in here. Just make sure the valve will actually have room to close. <laughs> That'll be okay. All right, so anytime you install a valve, make sure the handle can actually close. Um, and open without hitting a wall or an object or something. So simple pinch clamps here for the pecs. All right, there we go. We got a shutoff valve. Go turn the water back on. All right, so here's the manifold I'm gonna build, and this is really in that effort to keep things streamlined and organized and tidy. Um, I was gonna build this out of PEX, but it would've cost a lot more money. The things are a lot more expensive. This is very inflexible once you build it, obviously, but I built quite a few of these kind of little manifold deals, and it's, it works out pretty well. And so let me just show you what, what's gonna go on here, and this is gonna get mounted inside the wash station. The water's gonna come in here with PEX, and then convert it over to PVC. Each one's gonna have a ball valve, so you can turn it on and off easily. This one here will go for water for the root wash station. This one will be a PEX line that goes to the uh, float valve filler for the greens bubbler. And then this is what will be for uh, the sprayer to wash out the greens bubbler. So these are all garden hose, these are garden hose threads so we can just screw on a, a, um, a water safe garden hose and we should be good. So I'm gonna put this together right now. Got a little mini manifold here <laughs> ready to go. We're gonna screw this up to the wall and I gotta take a little break from the plumbing stuff. Uh, we have a beehive here, and we have someone in the neighborhood that takes care of it for us, and we're gonna install some new bees. I'm gonna make a separate video about that. You'll have to see that tomorrow, which will be cool. So I'm gonna go take a break from this, go film that, and we'll get back to all the other stuff. All right, so this is the queen cage, and inside you'll see this, um, this one real fat, long bee, and that's the queen. She's got a blue marking on her, and the marking, they just, they'll do that just to make it easier to find the, the bee, the queen when you're in the hive, because it can be hard to find her. But there's two corks. On this side, you have a cork. On this side, there's a cork. And you'll see this rock candy right here, this, this sugar. You'll take this cork out, and all the rest of the bees in the hive are gonna go in there and eat that cork out, I mean, eat that uh, sugar out, and that's the delay release of the queen that we were talking about. Well, the bee presentation went pretty well. I'll have that video for you guys tomorrow. So that was really neat to check that out. Um, it's been a busy afternoon and I was caught up with a couple of interviews for internships. Met some really cool people and hopefully some of that stuff works out and we have a good crew for the summer. We're really, we definitely need some people here on a regular basis that are trained and, and know how to, to operate the farm and, you know, production stuff. So planting, harvesting, 
flipping beds, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, we got a little bit more plumbing done and we're, we're getting close um, to getting that stuff sorted out and I had really had to put the camera down for the afternoon. So not much to show you, but I'll show you how far we, we got so far. So inside the wash station here, we hung up the controls for the washing machine. And the big thing was we got our manifold, which I was showing you, we got that built all hooked up. So we got water coming in on the left and we got, this is the, the wash for the root station. The middle one's gonna be the fill for the greens bubbler. And the one on the right is gonna be the wash for the greens bubbler. We got that hooked up. We also got the drain roughed in. So this drain right here, this one will be for the greens bubbler and the washing machine spinner. <clears throat> so those will drain into there. And then if I come around this way, just to show you guys continuation here, we got that hooked up here. And the drain for the root station is gonna be over here on the right. That should tie into that right there, pretty simple. And then we also put that shut off valve in right here. So this is water for the whole wash stand and pavilion. And we got that water plumbed in. So pretty solid. We only have a couple more things to do. I actually forgot to buy the elbow at the end there. So we'll glue that in and hopefully get the stuff running and hooked up uh, Monday, I think. Not too much more to do here. All right, so that's it for the day today. And I'm reala realizing as time goes on that, you know, this position here, it's, I have to do a lot of different stuff and meet with people and talk to people. And I am really the farm manager here. I'm not gonna be just the farmer. So trying to figure out how to get people started and give them something to do and then go work on something else and keep things moving. It's just a different, uh, different thing from what I've been doing before, running my own place all by myself. And it's been cool because the people involved, everyone's been awesome and just really motivated to, you know, have the same goals and, and work towards the same thing. And we're just, we can't wait to get the field full of vegetables. And it's just, the weather's been great this week. It's like 70 degrees today and this full sunshine, low humidity, and just feels good to be outside. It really does. And as things are starting to bloom and flowers starting to come up, it's just great, but there you go. That's what happened today. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow.